Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons, and this is the second video in a set of videos I'm doing that shows you how to dress up a site plan. So in the previous video, uh, we went ahead and created our distance labels around our proposed parcels and some of our existing parcels. And uh, what we want to do in this video is we want to add our um, we want to add our subject parcel labels. Okay, so I've copied one in from our template here. And uh, we're just going to make some edits to this. So we're going to go ahead and move this over. And we're going to make the park, I think we're going to call the park parcel 3. Okay, so we're going to say subject parcel 3. Okay, and then we're going to say lands of uh, the city of Oakdale. Okay, and I'm not going to worry about the deed reference here because we are not doing a boundary survey, <clears throat> but we will put in the APN in the area. Okay, now we didn't survey the whole park. Uh, we're only surveying the, the part that we that's involved in our lot line adjustment. So what we need to do is we need to grab the uh, APN and the area off of uh, the tax assessor data so that we can label that so give me a second here and we'll get that information okay guys so I got the APN and the area in for the park now um, and we're actually gonna um, I'm just gonna call this Kerr Park here okay then we can get rid of this label over here Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and do the other labels. So we've got the two parcels of the club here. So we're going to make this uh, subject parcel one. And we are going to say lands of the, this is the Oakdale Sportsman's Club. Sportsman's Club. Okay, and the APN is, uh, let's see, 13. Okay, and I actually need to get the area out of my drawing because the assessor has this as one parcel and it's actually two deeded parcels. So we're going to do a quick polyline around here uh, so we can calculate the area. Okay, so we've got, uh, let's see, so pull up our calculator real quick. We've got <clears throat> 242571.80 square feet, 242571.80, we're going to divide that by 43,560. So we got 5.6 acres. We're going to round the nearest tenth of an acre. Okay. That's 5.6 acres. Okay, and then uh, we're going to call this piece above. Uh, this is going to be uh, subject parcel 2 uh, up here for the sportsman's club. Okay. Okay, and again, we need to get an area out of our drawing. So these lines we actually did survey. Okay, and I'm going around the existing parcel here because that's what we want to show for the area. Okay, so we'll do that same calculation, convert to acres. So we've got, uh, let's see here, 131002.32 divided by 43560. So we got three acres. So that is three acres. It's the same APN. Okay. Now we've got our two transfer parcels. So we're going to do those next. Okay. And they're going to be a little bit different. So we're going to copy this label down and uh, we're going to show this as the transfer parcel. So we're going to call this transfer parcel one. 
Okay, and we're going to say uh, from the city of Oakdale to the Oakdale Sportsman's Club. Okay, it doesn't have an APN, but we will give it an area. Okay, so we'll calculate an area here. Now to do that, I'm going to try the boundary command. Okay, so it actually worked this time. A lot of times it doesn't work. So we'll calculate the square footage. So we've got, uh, let's see here, 91534.88 divided by 43560. So we've got 2.1 acres here. Okay, so there's a transfer parcel label. Okay, now this is a little bit of a challenge because um, our label isn't going to fit. Okay, which is all right. So it's not going to fit. And um, actually it will fit because we're given everything on this side of the line. So it's not just this little piece here, it's all of this. Okay, so we're going to say transfer parcel 2 here. Okay, and we need to get that area. Okay, so let's draw a polyline around that. Add a little stinker. Okay. And now that I'm looking at this, we should probably hatch our transfer parcels. So we will do that. Okay, but let's get this area first. Okay, so we're going to convert this to acres. So we got uh, area of 161997.22 divided by 43560. So that gives us 37 point, I'm sorry, 3.7 acres. Okay, now while we've got this polyline, we're going to go ahead and get our hatch in here because I think we want to hatch these transfer parcels. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to hatch that and we're going to put it in at 60 scale. Okay, and we're going to copy the hatch down. Okay, now we need to get that hatch on the right layer. And we also want to send it to the back of the display order. So we're going to grab this and we're going to say tools, draw order, send it back. Okay, <clears throat> we got that mass, so that's that works. Okay, and then we need to create a layer for our hatch. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to survey, boundary, hatch, transfer parcel. I'm going to call this. Okay, and uh, we're going to get, uh, we're going to make that a screened color. Okay, and so we'll do the same thing down here. We're going to create this boundary again. And we're going to hatch this as well. So that'll make the uh, the subject parcels pop out. Okay, this time we can just use the match properties. And we'll move that hatch back into place. Okay, send it back. To the to the back of the draw order display order <clears throat> okay so we have all of our uh, parcel labels done now uh, except for our adjoining parcel labels okay so really the only adjoining parcel labels we have are going to be these five parcels here okay and we also have the stanislaus river up top okay so um and they're not going to get a big label like this we're just going to actually copy down this smaller piece of text okay um, and we'll go ahead and label these okay and so again I've got my tax assessor info up so I can uh, label these so this is um, this is the lands of and we're gonna put uh, the Spears family and then we're just gonna drop the APN in here Okay, so this is APN uh, four dash. I'm sorry, zero six four dash zero three five dash zero zero seven. Okay, and I, I don't even 
need to put the area on here. These are just adjoiner labels. Okay, so now we can copy these over. And we're just going to try and get them roughly centered here. Okay. And then we'll edit those. And uh, let's get this label in up top for the river. Okay, so I'm actually going to make that a little bit different. So I'm going to go into our boundary anno template. And we're going to steal some text out of there. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and we're going to grab this text right here that we use for our roads. Okay. And I'm going to just put Stanislaus River in here. Okay, and that's actually owned by uh, the state of California because it's a navigable river, so it doesn't have an APN or an area. Okay, and I think... Um, get this on the right layer here uh, survey boundary text okay so uh, we're making good progress here so that takes care of our parcel labels um, I'm gonna I'll go in and fill in the correct APNs down here and owner names so we're gonna do uh, we're gonna run a purge real quick and a save and uh, I'll fix these labels I won't make you guys watch that so in the last video of the set uh, we're going to come in, we're going to add our, our UAV orthophotography in the background, and then we're going to add some feature labels and dimensions for the planners.